Don't let them see the navigation pane. It's scary stuff. Hide that ribbon and customize it. Anyone should be able to use it because you're teaching them how to use the application you designed, not how to use Access. We're going to create four different objects. So first we create a module, create a blank module. We give it a specific name and in the YouTube comments, you're going to see all of the names that we're using here. So if you first go ahead and copy all of the code that I have there and then paste it into your brand new module. Oh, funny, funny tip here. For some reason, we have to make that change in VBA to .id because if you paste it in the YouTube comments, it creates like a weird hyperlink. So anyhow, besides that, you're just copy paste, put the module name in there and save it. And you now we just have to add the uh, reference library. So just make sure it's the Microsoft Office 16.0 object library. Now we're gonna go ahead and create a table. Now, the first thing you have to do is you do have to set it uh, to show your system and hidden objects because the table we're creating, it's actually a system table. So when you create this table and give it the name that I show there, the U-Syst ribbons access actually knows what that is. So we're creating a system table. And you're just gonna go through each of those fields. You're gonna copy paste and bring that over. Um, later in the video, we'll actually paste what the values of um, those fields are. We're just creating the structure right now. And so this is the second table that we'll need. This one is actually gonna store all of your images. Um, so the way that the ribbon actually calls those images, we're storing them in a table. It keeps it nice and organized and also allows you to customize. The form's super easy. All you're doing is selecting the table and using the form wizard to create the form. It does not matter what this form looks like. The code is just gonna end up referencing it. And then this last part is the macro, which is when the user clicks on that button in the ribbon, what do you want the button to do? So in our example, we're just gonna open up a form using the macro. In case you're wondering, the database I'm using is just a slight modified version of the Northwind template example that they give you. Um, that way I'm not using any of my client's information, I'm just using a template. Later in the video, we'll actually paste what the values, again, all this is in the YouTube comments, we're gonna copy the XML code and put it into that table. So you wanna name the ribbon main, and then paste the XML code into that field there. Now, I'm just showing this as an example. You can customize your own images that you use for your icons. I like to use this product, it's free, and then you buy the different libraries. That way you just have really professional icons in your ribbon. You don't have to do that. So I am gonna show us how to do that just using paint as an example. Obviously you'll want your images to look much better than what we're gonna do here, but it's just an example. So I'm just gonna make sure that it's always 48 by 48, and I'm just gonna change like the background and put like a heart um, just to demonstrate. So now that I have my image, um, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a name. So use the naming conventions that I am showing you, like you're actually gonna add the word orders, um, and then add the image. Just because the macro and the code, it's all referring to like the order's name. Once you do this one time, then you can change it to whatever you want to play around with it. But if you want this example to work, um, please do use the names that I'm using. So it works, except let's hide the navigation pane just so that um, and it's really sleek when it opens and you're not seeing anything in the background. All right, there we go, there's your button. So the point of this video was to get it to work. And then once you get it to work, now dive in and start customizing it and changing it so that you can make it look the way you want for your application. Oh my goodness, there's another cat in here. Miss Muffin. I hope you enjoyed the video. I have many more videos to release, so click subscribe so that you can get the latest, just whether you're a beginner or advanced, I think we can learn a lot from each other. Hope to see you soon, and please do comment so we can stay in touch.